time for your weekly financial workout with your elite personal trainers, Ryan and Bob Payne, guiding you on how to build a stronger and more robust financial plan. So get ready, we're about to pump you up. Live from the greatest city in the world, this is No Pain, No Gain. This is No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. I'm your host, Ryan Payne, president of Payne Capital Management, along with Chief Investment Officer, the man with the plan, and yes, happens to be my father, Big Bob Payne. Good morning, Dad. What's shaking on this glorious November weekend? Because they're always glorious. Right, you want the good no news or the bad news? I'm always a believer in getting the bad news first. So why don't you lay it on me, Bob? Well, I'm going to give you the good news first. All right. Good news <laughs> is the midterm elections are over. Yes. The bad I news getting... is we just started the campaign for the 2020 election. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it I mean, never ends. The news cycle never, never ends. And that's something to talk about today on financial propaganda because you know there's a lot of articles out there about how. The midterms are in. How do you adjust your portfolio and yada, yada, yada? But you're right, Bob. It's just like that news cycle of the next thing to worry about is never over. But thank goodness the listeners have us, Bob, because we're always going to give you the, the real deal. We're going to break it down for you in real terms and get down to you know what's really happening. So we have a great show for you this morning, like we do every week, to help you on your path to financial freedom. We're going to talk about a retirement checklist. Bob and I are going to break down the critical items you need to have covered to be retirement ready. We're going to talk about taxes today. We have our CPA partner, Jeff Bernstein, on the show. He's going to talk about what you can do proactively in light of the new tax reform, along with this week's financial propaganda. There's a lot out there, elections, market volatility to talk about. We're going to talk about a lot of the stuff you want to avoid that the financial media has going on out there. And it's an all pain morning. We have Chris Payne, a star financial advisor at our firm, my brother, Bob's son. He's going to be on our spotlight segment. He's going to talk about a real retirement plan that he worked on and how he helped a family get on track, get them retirement ready. So let's hop to it. So Bob, when you're in that what we call financial red zone, which is like that within five to 10 years retirement, you know, it's really critical that you put together what we would call a pre-retirement checklist before really walking away from that paycheck. So I thought, let's discuss some of those important things you need to have on your retirement checklist to make sure that you're what we would call retirement ready. Well, you know, Ryan, I mean, that's great if you're going to retire, but if you're in partnership with your son in a private business and you're not allowed to retire, you don't need a checklist. <laughs> that's, you know, I, I think working in perpetuity has its charms, Bob. <laughs> I don't know if they are, but... <laughs> All right. Well, I'm within 10 years of retirement, just to put you on notice. But you know, we have a process for this, right? Called getting from point A to point B. What are the critical yep. items of point A? Well, I think first and foremost, and it never sounds like the most fun step, is I think you need to figure out what you're actually spending, right? And who likes to sit down, Bob, and actually figure that out and come up with a budget? That's not a lot of fun. You mean you and your girlfriend don't sit down every weekend and go through what you spent during the week? It's hard to believe, but uh, we do not do that. Um, I did do a budget this last year, but I think you know the whole the fear of doing the budget is harder than actually doing the budget. Well, that's why I know that that tool, that 360 financial portal we have, is the greatest tool ever because both you and I, and, and maybe you learned this from your dad, I'm not sure, never had a budget. But by just <laughs> adding in our credit cards, adding in our checking account, we now know exactly what we spend every day, every month. We can go back and look over the last year, five years, 10 years. And it's all done for us. We'd love to delegate, right? It's just the way we are. Yeah, and it's really cool about it. It categorizes your spending. Yeah, and I love that portal for that reason. And if that's almost like you're saying to yourself, ah, that's too much work, I, I think even you know, an earlier baseline that you can start is like when we have people come in the office, the first thing we do is we have a conversation about the budget. Like I almost feel like, Bob, sometimes it's easier to have someone else help you do the budget. Like when I go to the gym, I like to have a personal trainer because it's painful to go by yourself, but if you're forced to do it with somebody else, a lot of times it actually makes the process a lot easier. Well, that's what planning is about, right? It's like having a personal training for your finances. You know, when you work out, you have a goal, what you want to achieve, you know, when you want to look like, how you want to feel. Well, that's what a budget is. I mean, why not put a budget together? Why think about, you know, cutting back in retirement? Why not build a plan where you're able to live the lifestyle that you're accustomed to? Yeah, and that's really what budgeting and coming up with what you're going to need in retirement's about. It can just be a conversation. You know, if you come to our office, for instance, it's just chatting about like, hey, okay, when you're retired, 
Maybe you want to go on a couple of trips. What does that cost a year? Maybe it's ten grand. Maybe it's twenty grand. You know, what's that mortgage payment every month? And by doing that, you start to paint a picture, even if it's a little bit rougher, about what you actually spend or want to spend. And to me, like like you said, that's very therapeutic. And I think that's the first thing you want on your checklist. You know, once you have that, you can start working on other things on your checklist. Well, that's point B is knowing, you know, what you need to live in retirement, what you need to stay retired if you're already retired. You know, planning doesn't end just because you got your gold watch and you left your job. But then you go backwards to point A. And point A is, you know, what do you have in terms of passive income streams? And what are the things you need to list at point A, right? Yeah, and no, I love that. That's the whole idea of reverse engineering, right? So then you go back to your point, Bob, and those passive income streams are everything from like social security. Not only am I going to collect social security, but when's the best time to take it? So it gets a little more complex, right? Because let's face it, Bob, if you're going to take social security, it's probably different than when someone else should take it based on their life situation. And then things like pensions. And everyone knows, Bob, you actually have a pension, yes, <laughs> which I is do. a very rare thing. But I think tailing up... What's that? I said I earned it. You did earn it. You did earn it. No yes. one's going to take that away from me, Bob. But yeah, but just tailing up all of those actual income streams that are going to come in is a very, very critical component to basically getting your pre-retirement checklist together. Well, the whole thing is that the distance between A to B you know, is how much time do you have. And that's the uncertainty of longevity, right? You may live longer. You know, right, Warren Buffett's uh, partner, Charlie Munger, says, uh, tell me the place I'm going to die and I'll avoid going there. Um, <laughs> I, I think like that's that great lot. strategy. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great strategy. But now it even gets more complex because this is one of the mistakes I see a lot, Bob, is, okay, so we've established what you need to spend. We know what incomes mm -hmm. are coming in. Now we know about inflation. We know the cost of living is going to be more, so we need our portfolio to grow. So the other big question becomes on your checklist, what risk should I be taking? And the thing is, when you're getting into that financial red zone, you can't take the risk that you took like 10 years ago when you were a lot younger and you could afford to have all the market volatility. Well, I think the stock market sent that message loud and clear in October, right? We had a, a correction, right? That, which is we normally have every year, but it, it shook you up. And now you look at your portfolio and say, wow, I was down a couple hundred thousand. What would happen if I were retired when that happened? You know, you need that balanced portfolio because you know what? You can't predict what the markets are going to do, Rye, but you can prepare. Exactly right. And I think it's having the right amount of risk because like your point, Bob, we are living longer. So you do have to have some risk in your portfolio. Most likely you can't get away with putting all your money in cash. And odds are right now, if A, you don't have too much risk, which you may have, like you said, Bob, last couple of weeks are probably a great wake up call. But the other side of the spectrum is you may be taking too little risk, right? I mean, how, how many of us are sitting with way too much money in cash right now, earning nothing? And when it comes to the cost of living, earning nothing is actually losing, you know, in the long game per se. So if you're thinking to yourself, I need to get my pre-retirement checklist in order. I got to make sure that I have all my ducks in line before I retire. Here's your shot to do it. If you're one of the next 10 callers, you have over $200,000 saved for retirement. Bob and I will run for you our famous total financial master plan, and we'll take a look at everything. It's a full holistic review. Just print off those statements off the computer or wait till they come in this month. Bring them in the office. We're going to build you your own personal financial portal where we can see everything at a bird's eye view. And we're going to look at model out and we're going to look at all the critical components to your portfolio. We're going to look at everything from fees. Yes, there is a lot of hidden costs in your portfolio you don't know about from those insurance products, annuities, mutual funds. Bob and I are going to show you where all the hidden costs are in your portfolio, show you how to reduce it. We're going to look at income. Income is so critical in retirement when you're going to replace that paycheck. We're going to show you how to optimize or increase the income on your portfolio to fill in your income gap. And we're going to look at diversification. Are you taking way too much risk? Did you get hurt in the last couple of weeks with all the market volatility? Are you taking too little risk? Bob and I are going to show you exactly where the pitfalls are in your portfolio to get your retirement ready. Then we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan and determine that very critical question. Are you going to outlive your money or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you utilizing strategies now our family has worked on for over four decades to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success? All you have to do is call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next 10 callers, you've saved 
over 200,000 for your retirement, our team at Payne Capital Management will run for you your own total financial master plan. Now there's no obligation and there's no cost, but of course there's no plan unless you text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. This is Bob Payne. I'm with my son, Rye, and we are the Paynes of No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. It's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain Market Update with a team at Payne Capital Management here in New York City. Good morning. This is Bob Payne, the Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management. Two good things happened this week. The midterm elections are over, and the month of October is in our rearview mirror. At the beginning of October, the S&P 500 hit an all-time record high. Three weeks later, we were down 10%. Ouch. So, Bob, why is that a good thing? Well, historically, in a midterm election year, which is what we have in 2018, Stocks rally from the mid-year low to the pre-election year high the following year. The average S&P 500 gain over the last five cycles was a whopping 36.8%. And the S&P has been up in the 12 months following every midterm election since the middle of the last century. It is rare for the S&P to gain more than 2% on the following day after an election, but it rose 2.1% on Wednesday. Since 1950, the S&P has gained more than 2% the day after an election, only twice, and more than 1% six times. Now, in every instance, one month later, the market was up 62% of the time. Three months later, it was up 87% of the time, but six months later, it was up every time, with an average gain of 9.6%. In addition, we are entering, historically, the best six-month period of the year for stock market performance. Now, you've all heard the maxim, sell in May and go away. Well, according to the pattern, now's the time you're supposed to return. Can it be that simple? Should we just invest based on market seasonality? Of course not. Are there reasons to be concerned? Always. You know, markets climb a wall of worry. Things like rising interest rates, China, tariffs, and trade wars. But there's also a lot of good news to celebrate. We're at all-time highs in revenues earnings, and profit margins. GDP growth is north of 4%, and the unemployment number is south of 4%. Earnings and employment are the mother's milk of stock market gains. It is the daily financial news channels, what I call the financial pornography channels, job to entertain and keep you focused on the negatives. It is their job to promote what sells and to garner viewers. Now, it's your job to ignore the noise, to stay unemotional, and to stay invested in a clearly defined portfolio strategy for the long run. Now, if you're sitting there wondering, do I have a clearly defined portfolio strategy? Do I have investments that are appropriate to my risk tolerance, to my goals, to my dreams? Why sit there and wonder when you could know? Give us a call or just simply text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Get a clear picture of your finances. I can't see nothing. Got to open my eye. Let's get back to the show. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, no pain, no gain financial radio. And Bob and I, we're simple men, so we obviously want to keep it simple for you. That's why we put together our latest video series, What You Need to Know About Creating an Income You Cannot Outlive. It's just a great baseline to get the retirement planning process started. You can download it for free. Simply text the word BULLISH. That's the word bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. That's the word bullish, to 555-888. What you need to know about creating an income you cannot outlive. Just a way to get the retirement planning process started. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. You can download it for free. Text the word bullish to 555-888. And now we have a very, very special guest on the show this morning, you may have heard me say it a thousand times before, but money saved in taxes is just as green as any money you can make in the markets. So that's why we brought in our CPA partner, principal at Bernstein, Rosen & Company, our man with the plan for taxes, Jeff Bernstein. Jeff, man, I have to give you the uh, the real kind of uh, intro that you deserve. Oh, good morning. Thank you very much for that wonderful introduction. Happy to be here. Jeff, and you know, I know this year with the new tax reform, there's a lot of questions about, you know, are there tax advantages or the things you need to be aware 
of, and I think that's why it would be great. We thought it'd be great to have you on the show to kind of just shed some light on some of the things that we can do practically with the new tax reform. Sure, that would be my pleasure. Yes, yeah, certainly we've had major tax reform, one of the biggest uh, tax changes in, in recent history. There are a lot of changes affecting individuals. I would kind of classify the changes in basically four major buckets. Uh, one would be the decrease in tax rates. Two would be the elimination or curtailing of certain itemized deductions. Three would be the uh, increase in standard deductions yes. for uh, single and married taxpayers. And four would be a tax break for small businesses and what we call pass-through entities where their business income is reported on their personal return. So those are the four major changes, and the planning is pretty much planned around those four. Uh, a couple of tips that I think would are, are really uh, pertinent given those tax law changes. So for instance, the standard deductions have been increased a lot and itemized deductions have been curtailed. So therefore, many people will no longer be able to deduct their charitable contributions unless they're very significant. So one way around that, if you happen to be over 70 and a half years old and you're taking required minimum distributions, there is a provision that lets you pay charity directly from your IRA and it reduces your taxable IRA distribution. This yeah. is a great planning tool, especially now because that charitable deduction probably for a lot of people will no longer be allowed given those new higher standard deductions. Yeah, makes complete sense. And if you're already charitably inclined, you might as well, and you're over seven and a half, you might as well pay the charity directly from the IRA distribution instead. No brainer. Well, yeah. And there's also what we now are calling with a new concept called bunching uh, deductions, because since so many deductions might not be over the standard deduction threshold, you can now bunch your deductions. So let's say you only give away two or three thousand dollars a year to charity you mm -hmm. might say okay well now I'm gonna give if you if cash flow allows you know this year I'm gonna give four years of my charitable giving in one year either through your IRA or regular and if that gets you over the deduction then you are able to take the deduction for that year and then the next three years you might not give to charity and that's true for a lot of types of deductions medical expense for instance might not be now deductible because of the higher standard deduction. So if you're thinking of getting a lot of dental work or you have certain medical procedures that are not covered, you might want to say, you know, let me do it all in one year. So my medical expenses maybe now could be deductible. Ah, good point. Real good point. What are some of the things you can do with a 529 plan? One really interesting planning uh, with 529s, which not many people are aware of and uh, probably even fewer take advantage of, so in, in New York State, for instance, you're, if you're married, you can put money into a 529 plan and take a, up to a $10,000 deduction on your New York State tax return. You're allowed to put in more money into your 529, but you'll only be limited to that $10,000 deduction. Right. There's a special rule that the IRS allows is that you can front load five years of your 529 plan without triggering any of your gift tax. So you could put away $75,000 into a New York State 529 plan, but you'll only get a $10,000 deduction. So that's kind of a bummer, right? You put in 75, you only get 10,000. Right. Yeah. But there's a workaround. Uh, do tell, uh, Jeff. Do, do, do tell. <laughs> so you put in $75,000 to your New York State 529. You then take $65,000, transfer it out to another state's 529 plan. And then each year, and then each year you bring in ten thousand dollars back into the New York State five twenty nine plan, and that is considered another tax deduction. So if you consider that the seventy five thousand and sixty five thousand then goes out to the other plan, and if that money grows to eighty thousand, you could get another eight tax deductions worth ten thousand dollars each, and end up getting eighty thousand dollars of a New York State tax deduction. If you happen to live in the city, this could save you. Ten, twelve thousand dollars. That's huge. And just to clarify, five twenty nine plan is an education vehicle where the money grows yes. tax free. You can take it out tax free for someone's education, you know, immediate family member, or even a cousin. Any other creative tax planning that you can do right now that uh, that we should be aware of? Sure. Another very one of the biggest areas of change for business and slash individual taxes is there is a deduction available for people who have their own businesses, what we call pass-through entities. That would be anybody who has their own or is a partner in an LLC, a sole proprietor, an S corporation. All that income flows through on an individual's personal tax return. There's a part of the new tax law allows a deduction 
for 20% of that income for certain taxpayers. It's a, there are a lot of it's a very complicated area. It's not available to everyone. Okay. But if you let's say made $100,000, you know, from selling eyeglasses, you can then only pay tax on $80,000. And there's a lot of rules and regulations about how it gets curtailed, uh, what kind of business it is. So that's kind of complex. I don't want to go over all the details here, but that's a great, that's an unbelievable tax deduction for small business. Hey, Jeff, I'll tell you what, it's so great to have you on the show. Every time you're on, we learn something different. And just like financial planning, tax planning is complex. It's personal. It's something where you need to get together with your tax planning specialist immediately before year end. And if you're thinking to yourself, you know, I need to be financially healthy. I need to know you know, what I own is appropriate to my goals. I need to know the fees I'm paying. I need to know if I'm positioned to succeed. Well, here's your opportunity. If you're one of our next few callers, you've saved at least 200,000 for your personal retirement. Ryan and I will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now there's no obligation, no cost, but it's a full holistic review that will look at everything. It's the only review you'll ever need. What we need you to do though, is gather all your statements, Put them in a folder, stick them in a shopping bag. You don't even have to open them. Bring them into the office. We're going to review everything with you and build your own personalized 360 financial portal. This will allow you to review your portfolio in real time in terms of what it's worth, how you're diversified, how you're tracking towards your goals. You know, it's not about just setting those goals. It's about, you know, holding yourself accountable to achieving your goals. And lastly, we're going to review your portfolio to make sure you have the four key elements of a successful strategy. You know, the four P's of what we call investing. Portfolio risk, 90% of you are taking more risk than necessary to achieve your goals. Performance, majority of portfolios underperform because you're overcharging yourself with the prices that you're paying. And lastly, are you receiving the personal service you deserve as an investor? You know, lastly, we're gonna tie it all together into one total financial master plan, answering that age old question, Are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you utilizing strategies that my son and I have been working on now for over 40 years? That's right. For four decades, paying capital management and helping families like yours get from your point A to your point B, your goals, your dreams with your values, with the least amount of risk and only the certainty that a fiduciary like paying capital management can provide. So don't waste time. Call or text at 844-752-6692. That's call or text 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next 10 callers, have over $200,000 saved for retirement, call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Nine two. Here's your shot to get a second opinion just to make sure you're on track. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's call or text 844-752-6692. Jeff, Jeff Bernstein, principal of Bernstein Rosen and Company. Thanks for being on the show, man. As always, we hope to have you on again soon. It's my pleasure, Ryan and Bob. Great to be here. We'll see you soon. Thanks, Jeff. You're listening to No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. It's time for Financial Propaganda of the Week. This is where Bob and I scour the daily financial news and call out the biggest offenders of offering obscene and profane financial guidance to help you protect yourself from making any ill-advised financial decisions. So Bob, with all the craziness and mayhem going on, I'm sure you found some pretty, pretty profane financial propaganda. Well, you know, Ryan, I'm always watching the financial news because somebody from Payne Capital Management's on there almost every day. And what drives me crazy is when we have a little bit of volatility in the stock market, all of a sudden, these gold bugs, these gold companies, they come out of the woodwork with their commercials. Now, they can't run based on performance because no one's made any money in gold in the last 30 years. So now <laughs> they're showing what would have happened had you won the lottery and you took the proceeds and you put the cash in your vault, right? As opposed to putting it in a money market fund or in a bond or in a stock. And how much better gold did over that period of time. And they picked some period where gold was very low and actually made a return, a positive return, because you know, you can take statistics to prove anything. But yes, who takes cash 
and lets it sit in their vault, right? <laughs> it's like, you know, <laughs> hey, we've yeah. got an investment that did better than paper. You know, and the problem with this is that gold is not a hedge. And the thing I don't like about gold, and I've never liked about gold, are a couple of things. Number one, it's too heavy, you know, to carry around. It pays no dividend. And the last I checked, Rye, you can't even buy food at the grocery store with a bar of gold. Yeah, it's <laughs> the last time I checked, they do not take that at my local grocer here in New York. No, I agree with that. And I think that's the way statistics can be skewed is a very, very dangerous thing when it comes to investing. And I, I hate to call out annuities, but a lot of times they run the same type of scenarios where they'll take a certain period of the market, which is not a normal you know, time period. And you know, what they'll do is they'll run the numbers that just don't really jive with what's the real long-term you know, returns or something like that. There's, there's always some trickery in what's presented. Yeah, there is, right? And it's just, uh, and I think last month, if you're retired or you're thinking about retiring, you know, having that income stream in your portfolio is so critical. Dividends and interest, you know, are half the return of your portfolio over your lifetime. And that money comes in whether, you know, there's midterm elections or there's interest rates going up or down or there's volatility. You can't have investments that don't generate a return that overcomes inflation. Yes. And that's one of the big things. Gold does not pay you dividends and interest. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's a lousy, lousy investment. And it amazes me, Bob, like you said on these financial shows, every other advertisement is for gold. So somebody's buying it. I just feel really bad for all those people buying it because, I mean, from every historical measurement you look at, it's just not a good investment, period. Well, here's the thing you find out is that, you know, commercials are very expensive and th these gold companies are all running very expensive, well-produced commercials, which means they're making a lot of money off of these people that invest with them. And typically what they do is they bring you in by selling you a little bit of gold, but then they start selling you these coins at huge markups. And it's unfortunate when we meet with someone who's retired, who bought into, you know, that marketing scheme. And they got a portfolio of junk. I mean, stuff that has no market value that they take huge losses on. And over a 10-year period of time, they've lost money, right? Last 10 years, if you invested in gold or silver or coins, you've lost money. And that's a long time to lose money, a whole decade. Bob, we need to do our own commercial on these financial shows. We got to educate the people. <laughs> so I think that's got to <laughs> be our next. It, pal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. These gold companies would be very afraid. In, in the spirit of just financial propaganda out there, you know, a lot of noise that's been out there in the last couple of weeks. I found an article that a client sent to me this morning saying that oh. Trump's reckless, yes, a client sends me email, believe it or not. Trump's reckless economic gamble has failed and the political noose is tightening. Now, this article goes on and on about every terrible thing that's going on in the economy right now and how it's just all going to roll over at once. And, you know, I'm okay with you know, you can have a viewpoint that may be negative, that's not objective at all. But what bothers me, Bob, is what I find is a lot of the statistics actually are incorrect. And that gets me a little bit peeved when you actually have incorrect data. So one of the key statistics here was that companies with this new tax cut are not spending money. That's a lie. That's actually not true. Capital expenditure is actually up. So a lot of this negative news that's out there can have some incorrect data, which I think is very dangerous. Well, I think it's very dangerous, Rod, because I think in a lot of cases, the headline is all anybody reads. And many, many times you'll have a headline that's extremely negative, it's false, it's misleading. But then when you actually read the article, it refutes its own headline. Um, but <laughs> yeah. unfortunately, you know, too many of you are just reading headlines. You've got to really do your homework because this is one of the best economies we've ever had. And, you know, we just uh, finished the third quarter, year over year, 30% uh, increase. If that's not positive, I don't know what is, right? Yeah, and I, you know, I think it's be very careful here. You know, and it, nothing to do with politics, right? I mean, this is the fundamentals of the economy, and you know, I think when you see a headline about the political landscape and how it's affecting the economy is very dangerous. And the midterms were a great example of that, right? We had so much news out there about how you have to be concerned about the midterms, you got to be concerned about the election, and statistics already showed us that you know, after a midterm election. Literally 100% of the time since 1946, the market has been up after it. But even so, it's just, you know, there's a lot going on in the market that has nothing to do with your political views. And I think it's critical 
to stick with the fundamentals. And like you said, Bob, look, we've been doing this a long time, and the fundamentals of the economy and the market are very strong right now. Don't get swayed by financial propaganda. Yeah, you know, I just can't handle all this negative news. You know, of revenues at all time high, earnings at all time high, profit margin all time highs, GDP growth at 4.2 percent. You know, inflation has been very subdued, and earnings are growing at record territories year over year. That's kind of negative news I can handle. But, you know, <laughs> even with all that great news, you still have to have a diversified portfolio. You have to have a hedge against risk, and you got to ask yourself,、yeah. what's my hedge against volatility? Do I have、yes. all my eggs in the wrong baskets? That's the important question right now. Yeah, and if you're thinking to yourself right now, I need a portfolio that's based on reality, <laughs> not propaganda that's being spewed out there in the financial media. That's based on what's really happening. Here's a shot to do it. If you're one of the next ten callers, you have over two hundred thousand dollars saved for retirement. Bob and I will run for you our famous total financial master plan, and we're going to do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review that's based on your goals, not based on the financial media. All you need to do is bring in your financial statements. Put them in a brown paper bag. Print them off the computer. We're going to go through all of it for you. We're going to build you your own personalized financial portal, so we can get a bird's eye view and we can model out what retirement can look like for you. And we're going to look at all the critical components to your portfolio. We're going to look at fees. I know it's shocking, but there are probably a lot of hidden fees in your portfolio you don't know about. Those insurance companies, annuity products, financial products, mutual funds. We can show you where all that high cost is and show you how to reduce it. We're going to look at income. Income is so critical in retirement. When you walk away from that paycheck, how are you going to replace that income? We're going to show you how to increase or optimize the income on your portfolio to fill in your income gap, and we're going to look at diversification. Are you taking too much risk? The last couple weeks volatility did it really affect your portfolio? Are you taking too little risk? Bob and I are going to show you exactly where the pitfalls are in your diversification, how to fix it. Then we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan. Utilizing strategies now we have worked on for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. All you have to do is call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next few callers, you've saved over 200,000 for your retirement. Our team will create for you your own total financial master plan, no obligation, no cost. But、of course, no plan unless you call or text eight four four seven five two six six nine two. That's eight four four seven five two six six nine two. This is Bob. I'm with Rye, and we're the pains of no pain, no gain financial radio. This is no pain, no gain. Now back to the show. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, no pain, no gain financial radio. Bob and I. We like common sense. And we like to give you common sense advice for your planning and investing. That's why we put together our latest video series: What You Need to Know About Creating an Income You Cannot Outlive. You can download it for free. Simply text the word "bullish." That's bullish. B U L L I S H to five 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 eight eight eight. That's the word bullish to five 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 eight eight eight. What you need to know about creating an income you cannot outlive. Just a great baseline to get the retirement planning process started. You can download it for free. Simply text the word "bullish" to five 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 eight eight eight. That's the word "bullish" to five 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 eight eight eight. And you can catch us most weeks on all the major networks, talking about the markets, the economy, what our viewpoint is. And if you want to learn more about myself and Bob, you can always check us out on the World Wide Web. Simply go to bebullish dot com. That's bebullish dot com. You can sign up for the show. You can get a lot of our timely updates. And yes, Bob's hair is real. But check it out for yourself. And if you ever have a question you want to ask myself or Bob, you can simply email us questions at bebullish dot com. That's questions at bebullish dot com. Bob and I will directly answer your questions. And if it's a really good question, we will answer it right here on the show. And like every week, we got a couple good questions. And we have our producer Mark Haywood in the studio to help us answer those email questions. Good morning, Mark. What's shaking? Always good to be with you guys. I'm actually just about to head off for a brief vacation to the North Carolina mountains. So I'm packing my bags, going to see some of that beautiful fall foliage, and who knows where I'll adventure. Man, oh man, I am.、Uh, I'm impressed that you're you're a man of the woods, as well as、uh, you know the city slicker life down there. And、uh, was it Cary, North Carolina? I always forget exactly where. All、uh, right, here in the Triangle, North Carolina, but. 
heading out to embrace the wild side, you know? <laughs> I admire about that about you, Mark. Uh, but don't worry. I'll, of course, be back next week with the mailbag. We wouldn't want to deprive our listeners. So <laughs> always have to give the people what they want. And in the interest of doing that today, let's take a couple of questions here. This one comes to us from Cliff in Wayne, New Jersey. Cliff says, hi, Bob. I have a lot of company stock in my 401k. How much do you think is too much as a percentage of the account? You know, Cliff, that's a great question because most of you believe that the company you work for, if it's a publicly traded company, is less risky than the overall market. So, for example, if you look at the S&P 500 or the company you're investing in in your 401k plan, you would say there's less risk in that stock than there is in a diversified portfolio of 499 other companies. It seems that there may be a lot more risk than you understand. And I think sometimes you believe that, well, I'm in the company. If there's a problem, you know, management will alert me to that. But, you know, hey, Rye, you worked for Merrill Lynch. You worked in the Big Apple, right in the World Financial Center, right next door to all the chief executives. Did any of them give you a heads up before Merrill Lynch went to zero? Bob, I know it's hard to believe, but, you know, I was the last guy known the deal team. Uh, <laughs> and I think that's the thing I think we sometimes delude ourselves. And we like to think like, well, I'm in the company and know the pulse of the company. The reality of it is there's just so many variables and, you know, any sort of publicly traded company that's a huge organization like Merrill Lynch was, there's no way you can foresee some of the problems that could arise. And I always say, Bob, you know, practically companies are managed by people, management teams change and people are definitely, you know, we're, we're not infallible. So any stock has that risk, even if it's been around for a hundred years to someday just not be here. You know, when you look at the markets, can you name any major stock market that's going to zero, right? Bob, not in my lifetime, your lifetime or anyone's lifetime. And how long is the list of individual companies that have failed and gone to zero? Oh, it's not pretty. I mean, you know, look at GE now, right? They're being disbanded. And remember, there was a time when GE was the bluest of blue chip socks you could own in America. So, Cliff, I think we can safely say that, you know, investing is safe if you invest in a diversified portfolio of companies. To pick one company, especially your own, is probably the riskiest thing you can do with your retirement. So it's it's all about diversification. It's all about having all the great winners in the market. And if you own the entire market, you increase your probability of success. Remember, any company can go to zero. No stock market has ever gone to zero. And I'll just make one more point there. You know, I think this is what you want to think about when you're putting your portfolio together. You can afford to have one company or the company you work for, you can afford for that stock to go up and up and up, and it's going to be great. But what you can't afford is if that stock gets cut in half or loses all its value, that could derail your whole retirement So it's like the risks greatly outweigh the rewards. To place your hopes and bets on one individual company, your whole retirement on is just just treacherous. And I just think, you know, you got to be smarter than that. Well, thanks, Cliff, for writing in. Let's move on now to Rebecca in Stamford, Connecticut. Rebecca says, Ryan, I just turned 60. What kind of diversification should I have? Where should I invest while preserving my money? This is a great question because it goes back to what we talked about earlier in the show. And diversification really is a balancing act. And I think the important thing you need to ask yourself is, number one, am I taking too much risk? And like we said, the last couple of weeks are a great litmus test. If you were sweating the market because your portfolio is very volatile when the market's correct in the last couple of weeks, you probably have too much risk in your portfolio. But on the flip side, Bob, we see this all the time. There's a good chance you're sitting with hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of cash And let's face it, cash is trash. It's not growing over time, and you need your assets to grow to keep abreast of the cost of living. So, Roy, wouldn't you say that it's time in the market that really is the thing that matters? Isn't it compounding of your interest in dividends over time that really matters? Bob, beautifully said. (laughs) Um, Yes, it is about time in the market, but I think the tricky part is it's psychological. And that's why diversification kind of keeps you invested, because it's really hard to stay invested when the market sells off like it did two weeks ago, and you have every pundit out there telling you that it's apocalypse now, Bob. And I think that's the trick. The trick is to stay invested because it is time in the market, but that's very hard to do. You know, I know we're not doing financial propaganda again, but you know, you got Jim Cramer on every night and he does a session called, Are You Diversified? And if you own five individual common stocks in five different industries, he says you're diversified. Is diversification about owning five companies? That's insane. (laughs) No, it's not at all. And again, the risk inherent in that 
is tremendous, which I think that kind of information is very dangerous, especially if you're trying to grow your money for retirement and you want to protect yourself in retirement. You know, having that proper diversification, which really that's having thousands of stocks, you know, ideally in some sort of fund or index form is the only way to really truly protect yourself when you're trying to build long-term wealth and you're trying not to lose it. I think it's so hard for you as an investor today to know what's the right thing to do. You know, you have people giving you bad information on diversification. What you have to have is a diversified portfolio of stocks that can grow over inflation. And then you have to have a portfolio of bonds, high quality bonds that give you a high probability of getting your money back, right? Because you're making a loan. So you want interest, a return on your money, but you want return of that money. And Rye, isn't that the only way to truly hedge a portfolio is to have a bond that matures where you get all your cash back in your account? Exactly right, Bob. And that's the true balancing act, right? You want to have your safe money in things like bonds that come due that generate more income than sitting in cash earning virtually nothing, even at 2% interest rates, would still stink. And then the money that's at risk, you want to have it properly diversified over markets. That's truly the balancing act that you need to build for your retirement plan. Hey, Ry, I've got a question for you. On a scale of one to 10, how financially organized does Cliff and Rebecca sound to you? I'm feeling very benevolent today, Bob. I'm going to give them both a three on a scale of one to 10. Ooh, that's still pretty bad. Let me ask all of you a question. On a scale of one to 10, how financially organized are you right now? Don't we all want to be a 10? And if you want to be a 10, all you have to do is be one of our next few callers who have saved at least 200,000 for retirement. Because if you do, Ryan and I will create for you your own 360 financial portal, which will allow you to have a total holistic view of your entire net worth, not just your portfolio, but all of your other outstanding holdings. You'll be able to look at your portfolio in real time on a daily basis whenever you feel like looking at it. In addition, we'll display all of your goals and how you're tracking towards those goals. You know, you'll have a report card on how you're doing, again, whenever you feel like looking at it. All you have to do is put your statements together, stick them in a folder, stick them into a shopping bag. You don't even have to open them. Pick up the phone and call or text us, and we'll break your portfolio down into the three key elements of a successful strategy. Diversification, cost, and income. You know, to be diversified, you want to make sure you're not taking more risk than necessary to achieve your goals. Biggest question in your portfolio strategy, are you taking too much risk or not enough? Fees. I don't know about you, but I don't like being overcharged by any institution, and I especially don't want to be overcharged in my own portfolio. And lastly, income. You know, in retirement, while you're retired, while you're preparing for retirement, income, dependable, repeatable income streams are the key to a successful strategy. We can increase the amount of cash flow that your portfolio generates on an annual basis. And finally, we're going to tie it all together into one customized total financial master plan. We're going to answer that age old question. Are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you utilizing strategies that my family's been perfecting now for over 40 years. That's right, for four decades, we at Payne Capital Management helping families like yours get from your financial point A to your point B, to your goals, to your dreams with the least amount of risk and only the amount of certainty that a fiduciary like Payne Capital Management can provide. So don't waste time. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. This is your shot to get a second opinion to make sure you're on track at 844-752-6692. That's call or text 844-752-6692. We have a couple slots left. If you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, 844-752-6692. That's call or text 844-752-6692. Nine two. This is no pain, no gain financial radio. Hi, it's Ryan and Bob here, and we want to talk to you about your cash. Bob, many of us are sitting on a lot of cash right now in our businesses and personal savings accounts, and rest assured the banks are taking full advantage of our dormant cash. That's right, Ryan. Not only do you have to worry about FDIC insurance limits, but most savings accounts pay close to 0%. Exactly right. And that's why we're putting together short-term CD ladders so you can have increased FDIC coverage and not to mention rates that are in many cases double what your local savings and local checking accounts are paying. If you want to learn more about how to manage your cash better, simply text the word cash, that's C-A-S-H, cash, 
to 844-752-6692. That's text the word CASH, C-A-S-H, to 844-752-6692. Here's this week's Spotlight on No Pain, No Gain. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. And Bob and I, we try to give you common sense advice that you can use with your planning and investing. And that's why we put together our video series, What You Need to Know About Creating an Income. You cannot outlive just a way to get the planning process started. You can download it for free. You simply text the word BULLISH to 555-888. That's the word BULLISH, spelled B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. What you need to know about creating an income you cannot outlive. It's a free video course you can download for free. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. And we have a very special guest on the show. My brother, Bob's son, financial advisor, Chris Payne, for our spotlight segment today. Mr. Chris Payne, how you doing, brother? Doing great, Ry. How you doing? If I was doing any better, Chris, it would be illegal. <laughs> So let's all wish Chris a happy birthday today. Happy birthday, Chris. Thanks, Dad. It's not every day that a young man turns 25. Yeah, in your dreams. I was just thinking, (laughs) your oldest brother must be getting really old. Hey, hey. (laughs) 38 is not that bad, though. We stopped counting years ago. That's right. That's right. (laughs) Well, Chris, this is our spotlight segment, basically where we look at a real retirement plan that we worked on, and we talk about some of the things that we helped get this a certain couple or a person get on track for retirement, and you worked on a case very recently. Why don't you talk about how you were able to get this couple, what we would call, on track for retirement? Yeah, absolutely, right. And you know, this is a, an interesting case in the fact that, believe it or not, it's not always about the money. This couple came to us, and one of their biggest concerns was that they, they really weren't feeling the relationship that they had with their existing advisor. Some of the feedback that they gave me up front was that they, they felt that it was more of a reactive relationship. They felt like they were always calling the advisor. The advisor wasn't mm-hmm. really ever calling them. And that when they, when they would go to ask the advisor questions, the advisor kind of put them in the frame where the advisor was the superior person and the, the client was the lesser person. And oftentimes they felt that when they'd ask these questions, the advisor would, would treat them like you know, they weren't as bright or not as intelligent or even you know, as flip as to say that you know, it's really not that important. You don't need to worry about it. And, you know, money is definitely important, but, you know, my brother Ryan recommended a great book to me a little while back called How to Win Friends and Influence People, is that people always want to be in the position to feel important. So the most important thing to these folks was that they would, one, have an advisor that would be calling them on a consistent basis, and two, you know, answer their questions in a way that they felt they felt important and they felt that, you know, someone was there to really just explain things and, and, and treat them with respect and love. Yeah, that's a good point, Chris. I mean, I think we forget. I mean, when you're dealing with someone's money, it's a very emotional, important connection. And there's, I hate to say, a lot of people in our industry can be very condescending and not actually take the time to really to give the kind of service and and empathy that that you need when you're you have your money invested because it's a very emotional process. So, Chris, with your analysis, were they in good shape financially? Were they were they invested properly? They were in decent shape. Uh, I didn't really have a a real issue with with how they're invested, but. You know, as always, I felt like we could do better. And if you take a look at the comparison, that is very clear. So the first thing I noticed is that with regards to the fees that they're paying, we were able to do better on that. Not only the advisory fees they were paying, but also the internal costs were pretty high on the, the things that they were invested in. So you and reduce their overall costs just by um, using different investment strategies. Well, I'm looking at this one annuity, Chris, and there's an internal expense of 3.57%. Do they had any idea that they're paying these exorbitant fees in that annuity? They had absolutely no idea, and they were really shocked when they saw that number. They couldn't believe it. So we actually took it a step further, and we did a conference call with the annuity provider, and I had them just step-by-step go through every fee that they were paying. So it wasn't really that they were just going on my word. They actually heard it firsthand, and the big surprise was saying that when they were sold the annuity, that they never realized that those were going to be the fees. They were never really discussed, or they didn't recall those fees being discussed. Well, usually when you, when you see these annuity commercials, Chris, they say there are no fees. Well, <laughs> those annuity commercials are very misleading, Bob. Yeah, and I you know, to emphasize that point, too, because it, like a lot of times we say a lot of these annuities and things, they're not bought, they're sold. Uh, and a lot of times you don't really understand what you own. And it's important to do these kind of analysis separate from the broker who sold it from you. Chris, you know, the fact that you went directly to the insurance company, you were able to get the real information on that annuity. I think that's that's really critical to really understand what you own and really understand what the fees are because a lot of times those advertisements 
that are, you know, they're not exactly forthcoming in, in all the real data. And, you know, what amazes me here is, A, where you bring the fees down. But the other thing is, you know, this couple looks like in retirement, they have what we call an income gap. You know, they have their Social Security coming in. They have other incomes coming in through a pension for both the husband and wife. And then there's this gap of what they still need. And what I love about this portfolio that you put together is you're able to increase their income. You're able to double their income to really bring that income gap in without them even getting into their principal, which to me, it's great. You're not giving up liquidity, but now you have double the income you did on their existing portfolio with less fees. That's a pretty good deal in my opinion. Yeah, and if you you know, right to your point, being able to double that income and that increase was by about thirty thousand a year, I think we can all agree that's not chump change. You know, if you compound that over the next twenty years, I mean that's almost a million dollars more going into their portfolio than they wouldn't have had by paying these additional fees and using these high expense funds and variable annuities. Yeah. Well, that's what excellent. I love about this analysis, Chris. It's not uh, well, if the market goes up or the economy improves, you'll have this much more. This is based on just the income streams that these investments currently deliver. By reducing the cost, I mean, every percentage you reduce their cost, that's a percentage that goes into their pocket. You know, this is money that just shows you the compounds over a 20 year period of time. Three quarters of a million dollars is a lot of money. Absolutely. And, you know, like I always like to say, Dad, you get a better outcome with more income. <laughs> I like that. Couldn't agree more. <laughs> well, great job on this, Chris, on your, on your birthday today. Well done. And if you're thinking to yourself, I need a review just like this. I want to know what kind of income I can produce on my portfolio. I want to know my fees. Here's your shot to do it. We still have a couple slots left. If you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, myself, Bob, and my brother, Chris, will run for you our famous Total Financial Master Plan, and we'll do that with no obligation or cost. It's a review just like this. You bring in your statements. We're going to load them in and build you your own personalized financial portal to get a bird's eye view, model out retirement, make sure you're on track, look at all those critical components like income, we are able to double the income for this couple. Can we optimize or increase the income on your portfolio? Fees. We found all those hidden fees. They're paying over 3% in one of their annuities. Do you know the fees you're paying? We're going to show you where all the hidden costs are and how to reduce them. And we're going to look at diversification. How do you optimize your portfolio? Are you protected when the market goes down like it did in the last couple of weeks? Do you have the right amount of risk? We're going to show you how to safeguard and protect your portfolio. Then we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan and determine the most critical question. Are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies now our family has worked on for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. All you have to do is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next few callers, we have a few slots left. You've saved over 200000 for retirement. Our team will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation. There's no cost. There's no strings attached. Of course, there's no plan unless you call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Well, great show this morning. Happy birthday, brother. And thanks for coming on on your birthday to do the show. It was very, uh, very benevolent of you. Well, gentlemen, I use that term loosely. Thanks for the birthday wishes. I think uh, I'm going to take the rest of the day off. <laughs> You're entitled to on this on this weekend for once. And you are getting older, son, so you need your rest. <laughs> well, great show this morning, and as always, be bullish. Information provided on today's show is provided for information purposes only and does not constitute investment, tax, or legal advice. Information has been obtained from sources that are deemed to be reliable, but their accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed. Always consult with an investment, legal, or tax professional before taking any action.